I think from from a, from a technology perspective, you know, we, we've been looking quite closely at the design of of the product, the the energy efficiency of, of the product, and and ultimately the longevity. So taking those elements, we've combined them together um, to produce uh, uh, products. Uh, and, and for example, the WRT, which stands for Wear Reduction Technology, um, we we have um, come up with a retrofitable option for for the AH Warm and Pumps that then provide the customers with uh, a product that reduces their total cost of ownership. And from what we've we've done in terms of test results, we've seen about a twenty percent reduction in terms of uh, the overall cost if they apply this technology. Which is retrofitable quite easily. There's no there's no change in the actual pump itself. It's just as you open it up for for repair, you retrofit the parts, and 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 with time, um, you obviously get those benefits. However, every application is different, as as explained. Um, you know, with particle size, particle shape, uh, the densities. Uh, concentrations and the pump environment that it operates in. So, so we are conservative in terms of, of, of our predictions. We at certain mines, we, we've shown far greater uh, improvement than what I've just quoted you. Um, and, and we're looking at our materials technology as well. So we have our own foundry and rubber capabilities. Um, so we're always looking to stretch those, those material options, A61, A62, A63, uh, there's a a 300 which we've we've produced as well. And these are various grades of of high chrome iron or hyperchromes as we call them, that then further extend the wear performance of those parts in conjunction with the technology. And we have that in-house foundry capability, so we're not reliant on a third party to try and produce something for us or a recipe that that they'll make which everybody else would use at the end of the day. So we control that technology as well and make sure that the guys get the very best in every single part that we produce for them uh, to make sure that we reduce their total cost of ownership or TCO as we call it. We did a lot of work on the on the mill circuits. So so the mill circuit pump was was one of the designs that, that uh, we've been working on for the last 10 years, going going from a, a typic, typical environment where everybody it's a metal lined uh, uh, pump unit. We, we started doing a lot of work around the rubber lined option. So we've got to a point now where we we got clear water between ourselves and the competitors from, from a mill pump application with the MCR. So if you put the MCR in, the, the, the mill side's done, you've got the plant pumps, which are the WBH, and, and one area um, with the new environmental legislations and controls that are coming across the world, um, you know that some clean up and and to keep the plant clean and tidy was an area of of not concern but an area of focus. And and one of the big areas, especially around the mill side, is is that that high concentration of of large particles or fine particles that tend to bog what we call or, or, or clog up the sumps. Uh, and then when you put the wash water in, there's not sufficient agitation to actually then clear those sumps out. Uh, s- traditional uh, um, submersible pumps have an external agitator, um, which when running in high solids concentrations or with no liquid, tend to wear out fairly quickly. So what we looked at was an integral design as part of our impeller uh, and, and uh, um, strainer option. Um, so what happens with this particular unit is, is when you do a sump wash down, the impeller then takes a certain amount of the flow and deflects it back into the sump and agitates, that uses to agitate the remaining uh, um, um, solids in the sump and through that it, it is able to debog those particular uh, uh, sumps. And the option that we, 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 we're looking at, we have a complete pump unit which is redesigned or you can actually retrofit these to the existing SP range of pumps um, so that the customer has, he can, he can either keep his stock holding and apply this to specific sumps, convert the whole lot, or have a mixture of the two without having a huge amount of extra costs with regards to the, the, the existing installed base of SP pumps that he currently has in his plants. So we've looked at each of those aspects of the plant to try and improve the process, improve and, and give the customer uh, what he's looking for and try and try and reduce the problems he's having on his plants and find innovative solutions to every aspect 
of, of his pumping uh, uh, scenarios related to the products that we're offering him.